Hi guys, this is episode 3 of our Scratch Clicker game series. So in episode 2 I showed you how to code our shop so we could buy different upgrades and also how to code our golden Pokeball. So in this video I'll be showing you how to change our Pokemon or character according to the upgrade we choose and also how to replace this boring variable with a scope counter like this. So let's get started. So smash that like button and make sure to subscribe and turn on all the notifications. So first I'll be showing you how to change our Pokemons or characters. So the first thing you need to do is click on this Pokemon sprite or any of the sprite. And then click on costumes and you need to upload all your costumes you need. So if you are using the starter project, the costumes are already uploaded. So you could delete any of these and also add your own using this upload costume button. And now click on this buy sprite and when I start as a clone, so you could see this is our first clone. So we need to broadcast each message for each clone. So click on events, broadcast and I'll broadcast a new message called Pikachu. So you can see this clone is the Pikachu and then if mouse down we need to broadcast Pikachu and do the same thing for every other clone so this is the Snivy clone we need to broadcast a new message called Snivy. Same thing for a third clone we need to broadcast Meow. So you need to add for each and every clone, so I'll fast forward this. And you don't need to add this thing for the close button since it's the close button. And now click on these Pokemon sprites where you uploaded all your Pokemon or characters. And now just when I receive, so I'll snap to Snivy. We just need to switch costume to Snivy. So duplicate this block and add it to every other broadcast you did. So when I receive Pikachu, you need to switch costume to Pikachu. So now you can see all the 13 broadcasts to the 13 Pokemons. And now let's test this. So click on this high sprite. And for testing, let's drag the set cache. Enter a large value. And then when you click the green flag. And then click this block. And now you could test any of your Pokemon. So I'll pick Snivy. You can see we got Snivy.
So now you can see our Pokemon switching is working. So now I'll be showing you how to switch our backgrounds with our Pokemon. So now you can see yellow does not match for every of these Pokemon. So now let's switch it. So the first thing is click on backdrop. And for testing, let's make a new variable called color effect. And then tick this variable and drag the set color effect to zero. Leave it alone and go for looks and clear graphic effects. And then grab this change color effect block and change color effect block and duplicate it. And change this to brightness. So these blocks are the blocks we are using to test. So now click on Pokemon and select the first Pokemon you need. So we already found Pikachu's background, so Snivy. So what you could do is you could test. So let's change the color effect by 5. And click on variables and change our color effect variable by 5. So first click on these two blocks, so you will set our color effect to 0 and now you could click this and now I can see this color is 5. You could see this dark blue is 20. So you could just click this and find a matching color and you could also go with the negative values, so negative 5 and negative 5. So make sure you press these two blocks first and now you could go for the negative side. For Snivy, I think the default color is great. So when I receive Snivy, we need to set our color effect. You can see the color effect is 0 and also our brightness effect to 0. Switch to another Pokemon like Meowth. And now let's set our color effect to 0. And now let's find a suitable color for Meow. So I think this dark brown matches for Meow. And what you could do is now is to change the brightness. So what you could do is make another variable called set brightness. And show this and set brightness to 0 at first. Click on set brightness and you can see it's 5 so let's hit the 5 here and I'll just click it until we get an awesome color. So I think 20 is enough. So what you could do is duplicate. So this is meow. So when I receive meow, the color effect is negative 65 and the brightness effect is 20. So let's select another Pokemon. So let's select Brakeson and now let's do the testing. So I'll change this to 5 and 5. Click this block. Click it until you get a matching color. So I think this color is great and you could just change the brightness. So Brakeson, the color effect is 125 and the brightness effect is 20. So that's how you do the testing. So since I already have found the color effects and brightness, you could just copy. And if you want to change your own background, then you could test it like that way and enter the values here.
and I can see these are all the color and brightness for all of our Pokemon. So okay now let's test it. So I'll hide the set brightness and show our cache and then click the set cache variable and now we could test it. And now you can see all our backgrounds are working. And now you might notice that this banner does not change. So for that, copy all of these blocks to your banner sprite. So you could just drag this and copy it. And ok now click the green flag and let's set our cache and now you can see our banner changes with the background so now i'll be showing you how to replace this variable with the score counter so if you're using the starter project click on the display and you could see we got 16 costumes so if you want to make your own score counter you need 10 costume from 0 to 9 and make sure you rename your costume according to your number and then I got another costume which is the dot so rename it as a dot and then we got the letters so we got K for thousand M for million B for billion T for trillion and Q for quadrillion so now let's start coding. So when green flag clicked, we need to forever grab an if else statement lesser than grab this join 1000 and nothing. So if cash is lesser than 1000 then make a new variable called display for all sprites and we need to set this display to operators flow of cache and when green flag clicked click on variables and make a new variable called clone id for this sprite only we need to set clone id to 1 repeat 45 that's our maximum value we need to create clone of myself and change our clone id by 1 so now when i start as a clone we need to show go to front layer and grab a forever a if else statement a lesser than and a length of display is lesser than our clone id then we need to hide else show and we need to switch costume to grab this letter letter clone id of display and then i'll just set the brightness effect to zero and our size to 100 and now let's go to x so y i'll set it to 157 grab this minus block a times block so it's clone id times 30 minus grab a times and a plus and a length of length of display plus 
15 of display times 15 plus 50 so duplicate and duplicate and remove the one and grab this flow of cash then grab a join a divide another divide so flow of cash divide by join 100 blank divide by 10 and k so this is our thousand and now duplicate and duplicate and duplicate another one and change this to m which is million duplicate and you just duplicate this into another zero duplicate and chain this to billions duplicate you could just duplicate and place it here and flow of cash you need to duplicate and then change into trillion and the final one just duplicate this and duplicate this block and another one duplicate and then change it into Q which is quadrillion so K okay, now let's fix a bug so grab this join and grab this flow and it's flow so flow of cash divided by thousand so make sure you change this and okay now let's test our score and now you can see our score counter is working so that's it for this video in the next episode i'll be showing you how to code the achievements the thumbnail and how to add sound effects and music so if you want to make an awesome pokemon battle game like this make sure to check this video so see you with another awesome scratch tutorial